The House Minority Leader of Maine, Ken Fredette, was recently on tape talking about the debate over the expansion of Obamacare in Maine, and he used some questionable words to describe why he's opposed to it. Let's watch. As I listened to the debate today and an earlier debate on this bill, I can't help but think of a title of a book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. And it's a book about the fact that men sort of think one way in, in their own brain, in their own world, and women think another way in their brain, in their own world. And it really talks about the way that men and women can do a better job at communicating. Because if you listen to the debate today, in my mind, a man's mind, I, I, I hear really two fundamental issues. From the other side of the aisle, I hear the conversation being about free. This is free. We need to take it, and it's free. And, and we need to do it now. And that's sort of the fundamental message that my brain receives. Now, my brain, being a man's brain, sort of thinks differently. Because I say, well, it's not, if it's free, is it really free? Because I say, in my brain, there's a cost to this. Oops. Now, look, you can be opposed to the expansion of Obamacare for a number of different reasons. Um, and people are opposed for a number of different reasons. But explaining that your opposition is rooted in the difference between your brain and a woman's brain, delivered in words that can only be taken as insulting to women, um, is questionable. And I think that this is a great example of how political natural selection works. This guy's chances to go on to higher office are significantly lower now, and probably should be. Because if your man's brain is so powerful that it can, it can decipher out exactly what's going to happen with Obamacare, you would hope that it would also be powerful and intuitive enough to know not to use terms like man's brain. Now look, are there differences between the, ma the brains of men and women? Yes, there are some differences, whether biological or learned through our uh, education system. There are some differences, some small um, ways that women's brains are more effective in particular areas or men's brains are more effective. Um, but the important thing to bear in mind when talking about these differences between the brains of men and women is that the difference between men and women is smaller than the difference between individuals within that gender. So. Uh, men might be, for example, throwing it out there, 4% better at spatial reasoning or something like that. But the difference between men is in spatial reasoning is significantly more than 4%. The difference between women in that spatial reasoning is significantly more than 4%. So to say that there's a difference between men and women conceals more than it reveals in this case. Now look, Ken Fredette, I assume not the smartest guy, maybe like Joe Biden, he just d speaks without thinking. And look, he read Men Are From Mars, Women From Venus when it came out like 25 years ago, uh, and he's still affected by it. I can, I can understand that. I'm often overly affected by the things I read. Usually it wears off after a couple of decades. That seems to not be the case with Ken Fredette. But anyway, um, I'm mostly covering this, not because uh, the inner workings of the, the main Senate are all that important to me, but I'm wondering, this sort of uh, terminology, not man's brain, but the anti-female rhetoric is getting increasingly common, both at the state level and at the federal level for Republicans. And I'm so, I'm really targeting this video to the women out there. Are you actually offended by statements like this? Because there doesn't seem to be a lot of punishment for when these Republican politicians dish out this anti-female rhetoric. Now, there are some examples, uh, you know, Aiken uh, and things like that, where it has hurt them but not as commonly as you'd think. So for the women viewing this, I want you to write a comment and let me know, am I making more out of this than I should be? Uh, are women not as sensitive as, as male political pundits seem to think they are? Um, maybe that's not the case, and I understand that the women viewing this are probably liberals, but let me know what you think.